Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Sorry I haven't made a video for a while, but this is a super exciting video. Today I'm going to be talking about loads of new Disney dolls. Mostly I'm going to be talking about the Midnight Masquerade dolls that they're bringing out, um, because I'm super excited about this line. And I touched on them briefly in my last doll news video, but now we've got official images of all the dolls in all their glory. So I'm going to talk about all of those. And then I've also got a couple more Disney dolls. I want to talk about as well. So I'm super excited. Let's get straight into the reactions and the thoughts and the feelings. Okay, so the first doll I want to talk about from this new line. So these dolls are going to be coming to the Disney store. They're limited edition dolls. They're probably going to end up being probably around £90. That's how much these dolls normally cost, which is quite a lot gonna have to be using that overdraft but they are really beautiful high quality dolls and they're limited edition so they range between like 5,000 to 6,000 units so there aren't that many of them so that's why you need to like get to your shops get to your local Disney stores and buy them they're all coming out throughout October first one I want to talk about is Esmeralda because, oh my goodness, Esmeralda is finally getting some representation in the Disney company. I'm so excited. And we haven't had an Esmeralda doll since probably the 90s, early noughties. So this is super, super exciting. And this doll is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I am gagging. I really like this one. This is probably one of the ones I'm definitely going to try and get. Mostly because she's such a rare doll. And I wonder, I think, possibly, if she sells really well, then maybe Disney will start making more dolls of them in the future which I think would be such an amazing thing. Maybe we'll get a basic doll, which I'd love, and maybe they'll even be included into the Disney Princess lineup, which I think would also be amazing. You know, the more the merrier with the Disney Princess lineup. I want there to be like 50 Disney princesses. I think that would be so much fun. This outfit is obviously kind of a riff off of her outfit she wears at the Feast of Fools. I really like it. I love the like shawl she's got on, which has the sun and moon motif. Um, a really beautiful motif. I love that. It's got beautiful black curly hair. I love all the gold embellishments. I love the layering of all the different materials. It's all looking great to me, and the box is beautiful as well. I have to own this doll. I have to own this doll. Okay, the next one I've got to talk about is Rapunzel. This one is very cute. I like it. Rapunzel obviously has a beautiful face. It looks like these dolls have rooted eyelashes, which is really exciting. Her hair looks amazing, as all Rapunzel dolls always have beautiful, amazing, long blonde hair. Yeah, this one, I, I mean, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I think the material looks like it's going to be really floaty, really beautiful and soft and movable and not stiff, which I really like. This one's probably lower on my list of ones I need to get, but she is absolutely beautiful and I love, love this dress. Okay, now we have Cinderella. My goodness, I think this dress is gorgeous. Like, really, really beautiful. Um, I really want to try and get this one. They've obviously used like a beautiful silky blue material for her gown and the way it's all uh, billowing around her just looks absolutely beautiful. I love the dark material they've used up the top for like a kind of, it looks like a kind of band that goes around here and then also a shawl. She's obviously got her hair in her signature bun but it's a bit further down, it's not right at the top of her head, it's like further down here, which it, I, I don't know, I think I would have preferred it to be up here like it normally is. But yeah, and all the embellishment on the gown, absolutely beautiful. Obviously, Midnight Masquerade is a great theme for Cinderella because midnight is a very important time of the day for her, for obvious reasons. I wish we could get a photo of the shoes. I'd love to see what this doll's shoes look like. Definitely gonna try and get her. Okay, now we have Belle. And I have to say, this one is probably my least favourite. I don't like the black, the black and the yellow, um, giving me like bumblebee vibes. The yellow is kind of goldy, kind of mustardy, um, yeah, I don't really like it. Um, and I think that massive rose on the side looks gross. I think it looks really tacky. I really do not like the rose. Maybe if it was behind her, that would look, that would be better. 
Um, but it's like on the side, which I think is really weird. And I don't really like the embellishments on this one. They look kind of weirdly placed. It's like next to the rose. Uh, yeah, I'm really not a big fan of this one. But I think her face is beautiful. Um, and she's got beautiful brown, dark hair. But overall, I think this one is kind of ugly. The dress, I do not like. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Okay, now we have our second Disney princess that is like returning. Um, she hasn't been part of the lineup for a very long time. This is Megara. And wow, I mean, I'm just so excited that there's a Megara doll. I don't think this one is as nice as the Esmeralda doll, personally, but she is absolutely gorgeous. This kind of, she's got like a kind of cape sort of thing billowing down behind her absolutely gorgeous and in other pictures I've seen it kind of trails along the floor after her which I think is really gorgeous and it's made out of beautiful floaty material the way the material moves is really important to me I've mentioned this before in other videos but I want material that's really like floaty and malleable and like liquid like really soft and beautiful um, not rigid material unfortunately the skirt kind of looks like it's made out of a stiff material but still I love the kind of like Grecian kind of style going on. It's just really exciting to see Meg back again because she really gets no representation in the parks, in the dolls, in anything. Which is such a shame because I think Hercules is such a great film and lots of millennials love Hercules. So we need to see more Hercules and more Hunchback. Bring them both back please Disney. Okay now we're moving into the um, sets. These are sets that come with a princess and a prince. These dolls I'm pretty sure were only sold at D23, which is the biannual at Disney Expo, which is such a shame because I would have liked to buy some of these. But here's the first one. This is obviously Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Um, I really like this one. I love her like floaty cape. Again, the material looks absolutely gorgeous. She's a beautiful, beautiful doll. Prince Philip is very handsome as well. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. Obviously, it's quite exciting that her dress is kind of like blue and purpley pinky. Um, very cool. I think they should make more dolls of Sleeping Beauty where her dress is blue and pink. Wouldn't that be cool? Because like they always kind of choose whether it's going to be pink or blue, but they should make dolls that are like blue at the bottom and like have like a gradient into pink. Like, I think that would look really cool if it was like pink and blue. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, okay, now we also have Tiana and Prince Naveen. I love this. I really, really like this one. The green color is gorgeous. I love the styling of her hair. I love her makeup. I love her mask. It's got kind of like a Mardi Gras theme to it, which has obviously works very well because she's from New Orleans. And it's also got a bit of a 1920s flapper girl vibe with the fringe at the bottom of her skirt. I think it's really cool. And the motif on her dress almost looks a bit art deco to me, which was very of the time. Obviously, like, Midnight Masquerade works really well for um, Tiana because, you know, Masquerade is very similar to Mardi Gras and they all wear masks and stuff like that. So it's just a really fun theme for her. And her mask is really cool. It looks like it's got some bits dangling off it, which I think is really cute. Naveen looks amazing as well. I love the pinstriped trousers and the like green tailcoat, really cool. I love this set, I would have loved to buy it. Okay, now another really, really, really exciting set. This is Giselle and Prince Edward from Enchanted. Um, obviously really excited because again, Giselle doesn't get much representation from the Disney company. And this doll is gorgeous. These are obviously the outfits they wear right at the beginning of the film when they sing that song, which I think is called True Love's Kiss. Anyway, I would have loved to buy this set. I really want this set. Her hair looks amazing, number one. I love, she's very ethereal, Giselle, in this outfit, because she like lives in the forest. Um, there's lots of flowers on her. Uh, it's very kind of like Midsummer Night's Dream. I really love that. She's also meant to look a bit like a Gibson girl. Um, I love that whole motif. She's so beautiful. The material looks really floaty. I love the way they've like sewn little flowers onto the top, onto the bottom. Um, and she's got a little flower crown as well. I just can't say enough good about this doll. And Prince Edward's outfit is like very accurate to the film 
which is really cool. Lots of amazing embellishment. He's got his big puffy sleeves. I think that's really fun. Yeah, I really want this set. If someone knows how I can buy this, let me know. <laughs> okay, so that is all of the Midnight Masquerade dolls. Now I'm going to talk about just a couple of other Disney dolls just to throw in there. This is obviously the Vanessa doll. This is a limited edition collector doll, um, wow, of Ursula when she transforms into Vanessa. The box is amazing. The doll is obviously amazing as well. I love her, like, she's like pulling that typical evil villain face. There's loads of uh, sequins on the dress, loads of diamonds. She's got an amazing cape coming down. Just really cool. I really like this doll. Personally though, I prefer the designer collection dolls because they're smaller. They're like typical doll size. Whereas these limited edition dolls are always like really big and oversized. I don't really like that. I don't know why. But yeah, but this doll is still gorgeous. Okay, and the Disney Animator Collector line um, is also bringing out two villain dolls, which I never thought I'd see the day this happened, but um, uh, they're going to bring out Ursula and Maleficent. Really exciting. Ursula, obviously, I think her legs are like plush, but they're really sparkly and really, really cute, actually. Really beautiful dolls, and I can't wait to see them in shops. Okay, we also have these Jack Specific dolls for the new sequel to the Maleficent film. I think these dolls look really beautiful, actually. Um, similar to the Enchanted doll, the Aurora doll looks very ethereal, very, like, woodland princess. Um, I think these dolls look really beautiful, actually. Um, the face sculpt for Maleficent especially looks very, very movie accurate. The other face sculpt, not so much. Um, doesn't really look like Elle Fanning, but oh well, it's still a beautiful doll. I love her beautiful wings, I love their beautiful dresses. Uh, I'm definitely going to try and buy these. Okay, and last but not least, we also have some new pictures of the Disney Parks dolls, classic dolls. And these are gorgeous. I really like the look of these dolls. I only sh I'm only showing you these ones, there's actually pictures online. If you go on MMDisney200's Instagram account, you can see pictures of all of the uh, new Disney Parks dolls. But I'm only showing you these three because these are the ones that have the most difference to me than the old Disney Parks dolls. The, all the others look very similar to the old Disney Parks dolls. These ones are a bit different. I think it's really interesting. They've started to dress Jasmine a lot more covered up. I think that's to reflect how the costume character dresses up as her in the park. They obviously want them to look similar to how she would look in the parade, how she would look in a meet and greet, stuff like that. I think that's a really cool idea and I actually really like this outfit. Um, I love Jasmine showing a little bit of her midriff. I don't think there's anything wrong with that personally, but it's nice to have a variation. Um, this doll is really, really, really beautiful and really detailed and I can't wait to get her. I definitely will be buying her. The Snow White one is very similar to how she used to be, except the color scheme is slightly different and it's actually slightly more moving be accurate and that's why I really like this doll I really want to get her um, she's got slightly more muted colors um, normally when they make dolls of uh, Snow White they give her like bright blue and bright yellow but in the film she actually doesn't wear bright blue and bright yellow it's more of a muted tone um, so I'm really glad they're dressing this doll like her. And the reason why I added in um, Moana into this list is that it's just really exciting to see Moana be included as a Disney princess. Because obviously now she's been included into the Disney princess line. She's not going to have her own line anymore. She's just going to be a Disney princess, which I think is really fun and cool. The only big difference this doll has to the original Moana doll is uh, she's got little cuffs around her ankles. I'm not sure what they're called, uh, but that's really cool and I would love to own this doll. Um, they all also have new hairbrushes, which is quite cool. The hairbrushes have a little castle on them, which I think is really cute. I also really like the boxes for these dolls. I think they're really film accurate. They don't just have like a typical fairy tale background. They've got like film specific backgrounds, which I think is really cool. Okay, guys and dolls, that was all the Disney doll news I have for you today. All my reactions, all my thoughts and feelings. Please don't forget to let me know what you thought of any of these dolls in the comments. Also, let me know if you're planning on buying any of these dolls like I am. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're 
new here, click the little bell icon so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And I can't wait to see you again real soon, doll fans. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!